Although most of us routinely use our seatbelts when driving, there is a small and a very stubborn group of people who refuse to buckle up. Now, automakers have become more persistent in trying to remind folks they need to use this simple, life-saving device. Unbelted occupants can suffer life-threatening or even fatal injuries during crashes. And though many vehicles have reminders to click belts, up till recently, those reminders were ineffective in many cases. Two years ago, we started evaluating seatbelt reminders in vehicles, both in the front row and the rear row. And what we noticed is that many of them were fairly weak. Many reminders were like this one in the 2022 Volvo XC40. Not loud enough or long enough. One, two, three, four. With some prodding from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, many automakers have now improved alerts so that more than 60% of vehicles are rated good for seatbelt alerts, as opposed to just 17% two years ago. Why is it that automakers respond quicker to you guys? Is it something called the top safety pick? Well, I mean, that's definitely one reason why manufacturers respond to our ratings, our top safety pick award. People look out for that when they're shopping for new vehicles. But the seatbelt reminder uh, rating that we have doesn't factor in the top safety pick. Um, but it's, it's something that we advertise and we provide information to consumers that this vehicle has a strong or good rated reminder. But what makes a good alert? We want that chime to be easy to hear above just the typical vehicle noise itself. And we want it to happen often and for at least 90 seconds. So that because of that, that chime is gonna be a little bit more no annoying. And if somebody who's buckled up in the back row unbuckles, it's gonna provide that same frequent louder warning to motivate them to buckle up or at least let the driver know that somebody in the back doesn't have the belt on. It's estimated that if every automobile on the road had a good seatbelt reminder system, up to 1,600 lives a year could be saved. That's a heck of a lot more birthdays to celebrate than funerals to plan. Working for you, I'm the Consumer Guy, Steve Sprasher.